Hey there, happy Thanksgiving. It's Steve-O Smitty. We're going to try out another gift set. This has several of the Cholulas. Cholula Original is one of my favorite sauces as far as flavor goes. It goes so nicely on Mexican food and uh, many of the different hot dishes or casseroles, however you decide you want to call those things. I'm not sure what's hottest. We got most of these at Walmart. Couldn't get the habanero at Walmart, so we made a trip to Hy-Vee and found that. Uh, Hy-Vee also has some Carolina Reapers that we could have bought, but I thought it would be better, better stop that for a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and we'll start with the green pepper sauce from Cholula. This has poblanos and jalapenos. And we'll let John, he's going to have chips. He's going to have a chaser. What we have here is we have a complete non-chili head. One who's on his way. Is willing to try hot things and then I like to think I'm some kind of chili head but obviously we still suffer on some of the really good stuff so John go ahead and dump some of that on your chip how much you get on there show the camera he put just a little drop put a little more on there boy get some flavor this won't kill you not coming out. It's not that we think. Okay, so it's a bit of a thicker sauce, it looks like. Go ahead, Aaron. Right. Aaron's going to have his on leftover Thanksgiving turkey. There we go. Look at that, it's kind of pasty. I like that. It's a little bit thicker. I'll have mine on a teaspoon because we didn't learn our lesson the last time. <laughs> Go ahead and try them, guys. Oop, cup runneth over. Look at this in heat. <clears throat> actually rattled my throat a little. <laughs> it does have some pretty good flavor. It kind of tastes like the salsa mm. you get at uh, Mexican restaurants. What do you think of it, Aaron? It's really good. Really good. Had almost a very mild wasabi effect where it kind of like hits you right away, but then it's not going to last. It's not actually hot. It just kind of yeah. claws, claws at you initially. Well, it's really good. I did like the flavor, though. It kind of tastes like, uh, you know, the salsa, like I was talking about a little bit earlier. I like it. It doesn't have, no, it kind of has like the same heat as the salsa, you know, for a non chili head like me. So it's jalapeno, flavor. poblano. Poblano's always got great flavors. I love poblano peppers. So on a scale of 0 to 10, where would you put it at it for heat? I don't know, it's somewhere within the middle range to one, somewhere in the Is it really that hot? Or oh. For me, it's somewhere between middle and one. Somewhere. Somewhere between one and five? Yeah. So we'll put them ahead at one. <laughs> one. One. Zero. <laughs> it did rattle my throat though, so I mean that's good. Of course to me when I got the burning sensation it kinda of feels like whenever I accidentally drink hot chocolate that's too hot. Okay. It makes the burning effect. John, could you get my soda just so I can cleanse my palate, please? So maybe you need this sauce set a little bit before you... after you take it off the stove. Yeah. Basically, if you don't put milk in it, cold milk. That's how I like it anyway. Do you need anything for a palate cleanse? No. Hey. I have no idea where these should be on a heat, heat uh, range as far as order goes. We'll presume that's at the bottom, but we don't know. Next one is chili lime. I'll have Aaron read this because it's small print. He's got those young eyes. I do too. Well, we have... It says white and apple peppers, uh, guajillo, paprika, abrol, and bikini. Okay. So mainly the peppers yeah. I'm concerned about. We'll let John try it on a chip. We'll start her going. No, I'm kind of... Did you give it a shake? No. Maybe shake it a little. 
Alright. Now, I'm kind of looking forward to Chipotle because I've never had Chipotle stuff ever. Chipotle is wonderful. The That's Chipotle Cholula is like one of the best. There we go. Whenever Aaron would put on a Chipotle sauce on his pizza, I'd always like the smell of it. Well, as you can see from this, it's uh, can't it's come out a little bit more. Here's the amount I put on. Hey, this doesn't seem quite as thick as the green one. Comes out a little faster. This smells pretty good. Good. What do you think of it, John? Pretty good. Kind of tastes like that tacky chips we had a while ago. You know, the lime one. Okay. And but, yeah, I, that's right. I just love the taste of lime flavored stuff. I'm not really like much of a fan of some lime stuff, but when it comes to like the jello, tacky chips, and I even like tacky this. chips. I think or, that's what it hurt. I think that's what they were okay. called. What do you think, Aaron? Really tasty. Not at all spicy. Would you rate it below this one? Oh, yeah. I would, too. Yeah, I didn't feel As far too as flavor, much it's outstanding. both these are outstanding flavor. This one's <laughs> even a little better flavored. Just absolutely, it's a delicious sauce. But we're going to move it as far as heat below the green. This is the original. This is the one that we've probably gotten to know through Mexican restaurants. Just an excellent sauce. If you haven't ever had this, this is it's just great. It's great on on hot dishes. It's great on most Mexican food, Tex-Mex, whatever. Not not really hot, so to speak, but uh, it's just a, such a great sauce. I used to sit there and drink. Uh, two spoonfuls of this at Mexican restaurants and made people look at me funny. Uh, before I go on with this, would you put a heat level on this, John? At well, I'd put it like a 0 0.5. Because okay. it wasn't too much heat, but the flavor made up for the heat because it was outstanding. Zero. Yeah, I'm getting a zero on that for heat. John, try the original Cholula. And uh, just so you know, I've never had any type of Cholula until this point. So, got a little sauce right there. good. Well, that's so good. You can buy these in 12 ounce bottles too. All these are 5 ounces. You can get the original in 12. I'm not sure that you can any of the others. I looked at the website earlier, but I just don't remember. Where are you on a heat level with this? Well, it's pretty good. and It's kind of like when you eat a bunch of flaming Hot Cheetos and you just let the heat build up. It's kind of where around like the four, maybe five, I don't know. But I four or five is getting really hot, just so you know. Oh, uh, so then make it like three, maybe. Okay, what about you? Um, I don't know. I want to say it's a little cooler than the, the green. A little cooler than the green? I'm torn, I don't know whether it's cooler or warmer. <laughs> Go let them know we're doing a video, okay? Don't be rude, just tell them. Okay, so now we've got Cholula Chipotle. Which is the one I've actually looking for. Give it a shake. Jonathan. Cleanser. 
This is a little bit thicker. Hmm. Oh, I got a little bit more on. Uh, he said more on. <laughs> I got that too. Oh, the smoky smell. Absolutely spectacular. One of the best Chipotle's out there. Not hot. Wonderful though. I'd rate it around the same as uh, green. Yeah, I'd put about these three. I'll put that off to that side. These three are about together. It's about just this think one, this Chipotle heat wise is almost like kind of closer to that one. These two are kind of, it's kind of debatable. Sometimes, these green sauces are surprising me, actually. I've never thought they'd be hot. Okay, chili, yeah, chili garlic. Cleanse your palates if you have a mind to. It's good thing I got my chocolate milk. I like it because it's chocolate milk, it's awesome. It's good for palate cleansing. Chip. Chip and sauce, boy. Chip and sauce. <laughs> All right. Chip and garlic. I also love garlic. Just a little bit more. There you go. I got a little bit, a little bit of sauce right here. I agree with the Chipotle. It does have an outstanding garlic flavor. Yeah, it's pretty yummy tasty. Yeah, it is. I don't like it. It wasn't very spicy at all. Yeah, but if you do like garlic, it's definitely it's definitely got garlic flavor. Very delicious. Again, you cannot say enough about how wonderful tasting these these sauces are. They're not going to be really hot, but you know, being a chili head isn't always about the super heat. Well, who am I kidding? Yes, it is, but that's why we buy extracts and things, so we can boost up the things that have the flavor. And so, these have great flavor. Now on to the sweet habanero. Of course, so far I'd say my two favorite are the chipotle and the garlic. All right. What's your favorite, Aaron? Um, I really like this one. This one, was, the green pepper was really good. Right now, I need to remind myself I've had hotter stuff like the ghost dusted chip we had in that other video. Okay, so this has this zero grams of carb, which is important for me. It's also pretty This thick. has less than one gram of carb. The Chipotle... Zero grams of carb. The sweet, or no, the chili garlic is zero grams mm -hmm. of carb. Cheers. Chili lime, zero grams of carb. The sweet habanero, I think, had less than one gram. That one might have been one. No, it is one gram of carb. Great flavor. Heat's building up fast. <laughs> Habanero is always a fine flavor. Fine or funny? Very. Fine. Fine. <laughs> it's always a very good flavor. The non chili head has met something that's ramped it up for the boy. Maybe six. Thank you for John for trying this. <laughs> six. Great flavor. Hurts to talk. Wow, that is good tasting sauce. Mm. So John took it took John up to about a six. Yeah, my he's whole, a non chili head. 
He doesn't eat hot sauces. I thought he didn't turn off the side porch light, so this is punishment. Where are you heat level on that? Two, maybe pushing two and a half if you eat more. But this is okay. This sort of actually starts to be a little spicy. This is the first one I got some some hint of heat. I would still, for me, put it at under one. But flavor-wise, wow! It every single one of these. I cannot recommend these highly enough for the flavor. They are so good. I'm real biased about what I put on my eggs. I'm not going to say what I put on my eggs for this is a different brand. I'm very particular. It's the only thing that I'll use. I'm sure many people would like these on eggs. Anything where you where you think a hot sauce should go, Chulu is going to cut it for you. Think the same? Absolutely. All right. Thanks for watching. Steve O'Smitty signing out. Uh, God bless. Have a great uh, Thanksgiving day. Be safe on Black Friday. Remember, there's a good Friday. That's why we're celebrating Christmas, because it leads to that. God bless. Have a good night. Steve O'Smitty, we're signing out. And his boys, Aaron and John.